Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Jisme hai dam to fakt Baji Rao Singh hum. We heard these lines a decade ago with Rohit Shetty's first police film Singh hum. As it turns out, the super cop was wrong. He isn't the only powerful one. In 2018, he was joined by Sangram Simba Bhale Rao in Simba. And now in Suryavanshi, we get ATS Chief Veer Suryavanshi. With each film, director Rohit Shetty is building the foundation for a homegrown cop universe modeled on the MCU. In the climax of Suryavanshi, the three stand back to back, raining bullets on terrorists exactly like the Avengers had done in the first Avengers film in 2012. Rohit is the chief architect and champion of a problematic but powerful fantasy in which men in uniform can do no wrong. Simba might have started out as a corrupt cop, but the rape and murder of a woman he considers his sister turns him into an avenging angel who murders the rapists in cold blood inside the police station. Rohit's cops have no qualms about encounter killings. All three gleefully kill the men they deem guilty without due process and the films including Suryavanshi unapologetically celebrate this. This is of course an overwhelmingly male universe. The women are minor diversions, romantic partners or ammunition to be used by villains. Rohit's energy is mostly focused on his leading men who are presented as paragons of virtue and hypermasculinity. their slow motion entries their swagger the way they wear their sunglasses each aspect is showcased and underlined with rousing background music singham's key accessory is a lion's roar these aren't men with angst or even a hint of anxiety about what they do or their place in the world they're masters of the universe who deliver killer lines punch through innumerable bad guys and save the world It's a formula that works because Rohit is the master of masala. He has an uncanny talent for mixing comedy, dialogue, bazi, thrilling stunts and high drama in exactly the right doses. He knows when to land a punch so viewers have to applaud as I did when Singham made an entry into Suryavanshi. Just when all seems lost an armored vehicle comes in spinning and Ajay Devgan casually cool walks into frame. These moments are designed with skill and dexterity by a director who knows the art of pushing buttons. But Suryavanshi doesn't have enough of them and that is this film's fatal flaw. Rohit thrives on creating larger than life characters who are written in broad strokes and who inhabit a fantastical world in which anything is possible. But Suryavanshi attempts to have a more solid connection with reality. Rohit who came up with the story screenplay writer Yunis Sajawal and the dialogue writers Farhad Samji Sanchit Bedre and Vidhi Khodgaonkar borrow from the headlines of the recent past The film begins with the 1993 Mumbai bomb blasts and offers a fictionalized version of events Instead of Daud we get Jackie Shroff as the Lashkar chief who 27 years later is still plotting havoc Sleeper cells have been planted throughout the country and 600 kilos of RDX is still lying around waiting to be detonated. The busy plot also has to make room for Suryavanshi's complicated personal life and romantic songs, back stories for the villains so that the film doesn't come off as anti-Muslim, an evocative but not entirely convincing plea for communal harmony, speeches about Hindustan ka musalman, big ticket entries for the three male stars. even bigger action sequences that involve multiple helicopters cars being blown up and always hand to hand action because how else can a man prove that he's a real man which causes this film to stretch to 2 hours and 25 minutes and that first half seems longer than it is because the character of suryavanshi doesn't have the flamboyance or the fun of either singham or simba Akshay Kumar once again is an upright savior and son of the soil. He's solid as always in the action sequences but the frequent preaching becomes a slog. Suryavanshi's habit of forgetting names offers a few laughs but there's little color or masti which is why it's such a relief when Ranveer Singh appears. He injects a much needed dose of mischievousness into this film. Suryavanshi works hard to be an entertainer that can also somehow deliver key messaging about the tragic consequences of religious hate, the undying spirit of Mumbai and the unstinting bravery of Mumbai cops, but the storytelling sags under the load. At one point, the plot pauses to allow for a romantic flashback. Suryavanshi and his wife Riya are getting steamy as they sing Tip Tip Barsa Pani at a fairground. Akshay sang the same song 27 years ago in Mora with Ravina Tandon. 
Katrina Kaif looks smashing, but the sequence is oddly dispiriting because it reiterates that in Bollywood, the more things change, the more they remain the same, literally. Therefore, these cops will return. I hope the next time they and us have a more thrilling ride. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and don't forget to check out our website filmcompanion.in.